second grade friends. My name is Mrs. Day and I teach second grade at Amherst Elementary School. Before we get started, I would like to give a huge thank you to Ms. Petco and the Social Studies Department, my second grade team at Amherst, and Ms. Metcalf from Starkey Elementary for helping me put together some fun activities for you to practice while you're at home. Today, we are going to review some things that we learned about in our geography unit and some fun activities you can do at home to practice your geography skills. In our geography unit, we learned how to compare maps and globes that show and represent geographical information in different ways. We learned to identify and locate the equator, prime meridian, and four hemispheres. The equator is an imaginary horizontal line that divides the Earth into the northern and southern hemispheres. The prime meridian is an imaginary vertical line that divides the Earth into the western and eastern hemispheres. We also learn the location of the North and South Pole and the seven continents, North America, Europe, Asia, Africa, South America, Australia, and Antarctica. We worked especially hard on our continents and we thought you'd enjoy some fun activities to keep your skills sharp. So, We've included this continent's memory match in your packet. You will cut out all the pieces, mix them up, and lay them face down. Turn over two cards. If the word and illustration or definition are a match, then you keep the match and go again. If they are not a match, turn them back over and try again. You can even challenge members in your house to play with you. You can create a trip around the world itinerary. Imagine you are going to visit all seven continents. Which one would you choose to go to first? How would you get there? What will you see? What will you do? Create an itinerary or list the order of the continents you would visit. Explain how you would travel to each continent. Would you drive? Would you take an airplane, a boat, or a train? Write or talk about what you think you would see and do when you visit each continent. This is a great way to use your imagination. We even have a fun activity you can do to practice identifying the continents. If you have a beach ball or a balloon that you can blow up and use a marker to draw the equator and prime meridian, and then draw the continents, or you can use the continents from your packet and cut those out and glue or tape those to your balloon or ball. Once you have this finished, you're ready to play. Toss your balloon or ball and name the continent that your thumb lands on. Want an extra challenge? Label the oceans. If you do not have a balloon or ball, you can use construction paper and draw the continents or use the continents from your packet and glue those down on construction paper. Once you have this done, you're ready to play. Close your eyes, turn around three times and point to your paper. Open your eyes and say the continent you landed on. It's like pin the tail on the donkey. Now back to some things we've learned. We are able to recognize that the United States is part of the North American continent and identify the United States land and water borders. The United States borders Canada, Mexico, the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, and the Gulf of Mexico. We can use legends and cardinal directions to determine locations on physical and political maps. Remember that political maps show boundaries of countries and states. They can also indicate the location of major cities, and they usually include significant bodies of water. A physical map's primary purpose is to show landforms, like deserts, mountains, and plains. A map legend or key is a visual explanation of the symbols used on the map. The cardinal directions are north, south, east, and west. 
let's check out another activity that you can do at home. Here's a fun activity you can do to practice your map skills and cardinal directions. Create a map of your neighborhood, house, school, classroom, or even an imaginary island. Create a legend and a compass rose. Once you have that finished, you can create and answer questions to determine different locations on the map. You can even create a treasure map and directions to find a hidden treasure. We learn to identify and compare the physical features of Earth, including island, lake, mountain, ocean, peninsula, plain, plateau, river, and valley. Let's watch a fun Brain Pop Junior video to review these skills. What's up, Moby? You want to climb Mount Everest? But that's the highest mountain in the world. What is a landform? A landform is a natural formation or area of land. There are many different landforms all over the planet. Well, a continent is one kind of landform. Earth's land is divided into seven continents. North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. There are different landforms all over the continents. There are even landforms right in your neighborhood. What are raised areas of land? A hill is a landform that rises up and has a rounded top. The steep ones are fun to ride down. Be careful, Moby! A mountain is a landform that rises high above the area around it and has a peak at the top. A row of connected mountains is called a range. The Andes mountain range is the longest in the world. It goes through seven countries. A plateau also rises above an area like a mountain, but a plateau has a flat surface on top. What are lower areas of land? A valley is a landform that is lower than the area around it. You can find valleys between hills, mountains, and plateaus. Water from higher areas can flow down into the valleys to form rivers and streams. Rivers and rich soil make valleys good for farming. A canyon is a deep valley with very steep sides. It's formed when a river wears away at rock for millions of years. What are flat areas of land? Plains are wide, flat lands. Many plains have rich soil, so they're good for agriculture. The Great Plains covers part of the United States and Canada. Many areas of the Great Plains are covered by prairie. A prairie is a grassy plain that has few or no trees. Other plains are covered by forests. There are even plains on the ocean floor. What are landforms near water? A coast is an area where land meets the ocean. Some coasts are rocky. And others are sandy with beaches. Over thousands of years, Water can wear away at coasts to form bays. A bay is an area of water that has land on three sides. The water in a bay is usually pretty calm. An island is an area of land that is surrounded by water. 
The Caribbean has over 7,000 islands. A peninsula is an area of land that has water on three sides. The state of Florida is a really big peninsula. You reached the top of Mount Everest? That's impossible. It takes weeks. Hey. Whoa. Our next activity is another memory match game, but it needs your help. In your packet, you have this page, but the pictures are missing on your copy. You will need to draw the missing picture in the empty box. Once you have that done, cut out all the pieces and play memory, matching the words and the picture. Be creative and have fun. In class, we compared and contrasted the regions of the United States by climate, physical features, and population. We learned how the location of regions affects the way people live, including their food, clothing, shelter, transportation, and recreation. What region do we live in? What was your favorite region? What do you remember about the regions we learned about? We have included an optional United States Regions Enrichment Activity. You can choose a region of the United States and research the climate, physical features, and population, and how the location of the region affects the way people live, including their food, clothing, shelter, transportation, and recreation. Write or tell about what you learned. You could even create a video pretending to be a travel reporter. Your packet also has information on technology resources. You can register for a free account for BrainPop Junior at www.jr.brainpop.com. Once you're registered, you can log in and search geography to watch videos. At the bottom of each video, there are additional activities that can be completed. You can also find more videos on Studies Weekly. You can register for a free account at www.studiesweekly.com. Log in and click the Extras link at the top toolbar. Next, select New K2 Videos. There are several 1-2 to two minute videos to watch. Be sure to answer the questions at the end of each video. I hope you enjoyed our geography review and activities you can do at home to practice your geography skills. Your teacher can't wait to see and hear about all the activities you complete.